Everyone and their grandma is looking for the best way to invest their money. If you stash your money under your bed like your grandpa, or even keep it stored in a bank account, you are losing money due to inflation. But most newcomers are afraid of investing because of the risk of losing all their money, or they think investing is incredibly complex. So that's why in this video I will be covering the best ETF in Europe to achieve long-term wealth and financial independence. ETF investing is super easy, incredible effective and outperform 90% of all professional investors. It's so easy that my grandma can do it on her iPad without needing to pay the banker's top dollar. So here's a recap what an ETF or index fund is. Well the idea is something like this. If you go to a pizzeria and you get a menu of all the pizzas listed on there, you might have a hard time as there are so many options to choose from and you want to try them all. The Tonno, the Bolognese, the Romana, the Frutti de Mare, the Quattro Stagione, the Margherita, the Quattro Formaggi. But you realize that ordering all these pizzas is far too costly. So the pizza guy proposes that he will sell you a sample box filled with small pieces of each pizza. So that way you will get a bit of everything for way less than it would cost you to buy them each individually. So it's the same for an index funds or an ETF. Instead of buying stocks individually, which would be too costly, you're buying a box filled with small portions of stocks. There are various index funds or ETFs that track different company sizes like small caps, mid caps, large caps, or track on locations like the US, Europe or Asia, or business types like tech, industrial, etc. and even currencies like bonds, etc. Like for example, you can buy an ETF of the S&P 500 which tracks the stocks of the largest 500 companies in the US. So what is the biggest difference between an ETF and an index fund? Well, an ETF can be bought or sold throughout the day, while an index fund can only be bought and sold for the price set at the end of the trading day. ETFs are also more tax efficient in most countries and have lower costs. So here's the one thing that you need to do first. And that's to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Distributing versus accumulating. So there are two types of ETFs. So what's the difference? Distributing ETFs pay out all dividends or interest and the accumulating ETFs automatically reinvest the dividend or interest to automatically benefit from compounding returns, earning interest on interest. So my personal opinion is always to get accumulating version of an ETF. It saves you time and spares you dealing fees if you want to reinvest the interest back into the ETF. Plus, in some countries, accumulating ETFs have a tax advantage. For example, Belgium does not tax dividends from accumulating ETFs at all, while the distributing version is taxed at 30%. Risks ETFs or index investing is meant for long-term investing. So over time, stock crashes will occur in the market. So it is a good idea to spread out your risk over the different locations in the world and developed and emerging markets. The markets always recovers from a crash, but it can take years to do so. You could buy multiple ETFs that cover different locations, but that also means that you need to spend more time buying all these different ETFs, plus you will lose more money due to the cost of buying and selling all those ETFs. So the best option is to buy one world index or ETF that covers the entire world from both developed as emerging markets. For the last 30 years, the S&P 500 has performed greatly, but you would be taking a lot of risk of only betting on the 500 largest companies in the US, as you cannot predict the future. I love being an American. America is number one. So the best ETF to buy in Europe is... VWCE and chill. And here's why. VWCE is a Vanguard FTSE All World Usage ETF. Usage means that these ETFs are domiciled in Europe, in this case Ireland, and are subject to European Union regulation. That tracks 4094 stocks from the developed and emerging markets. So if one of the 4094 companies goes bankrupt, you will not feel it as much in your portfolio. If you only own two stocks, for example, and one of those goes bankrupt, you will lose half of your portfolio. And this does happen. Remember Nearstar, Fortis, Lehman Brothers, Blockbuster, General Motors? If you invest in a globally diversified ETF like VWCE, even if Apple would go bankrupt, you would only lose 3% of your portfolio. 
This shows the power of diversification, as VWCE is an all-world ETF. It is also region diversified, as for example, if Japan would struggle, your portfolio would not hurt as much. Plus the same applies for sector diversification. We already had dot-com bubbles and real estate bubbles in the past. VWCE is an accumulating ETF that reinvests its dividends, so as I mentioned before, this has the benefits of time saving, lower costs and lower taxes over its distributing brother ETF, VWRL. VWCE has an average annual return rate of 12-13% since inception and has an expense ratio of 0-22%. So if you invest 25,000 euros today and add 650 euros per month in VWCE that has an average annual return rate of 12%, boom shakalaka, after 22 years, you are a millionaire. Taxes, let's talk taxes. The United Kingdom and Switzerland are the only countries in Europe where accumulating ETFs have no tax advantage over distributing ETFs whatsoever. In Austria and Germany, the accumulating ETFs are partially taxed. And the Netherlands have a wealth tax that you need to take in consideration. In all other countries in Europe, accumulating ETFs have a tax advantage in one way or another over distributing ETFs. Lump sum or dollar cost averaging. Perhaps you have been saving for some years already and now you want to invest this money into an ETF. Now you are faced with a dilemma. Do you invest everything in one buy? also called lump sum investing, or do you spread it out over 12 months, also called dollar cost averaging. Research shows that the statistical correct option would be just to drop everything in one go. Two thirds of the time, lump sum investing comes out ahead. But do not underestimate the psychological hit you get in case the market crashed just after you invested a big chunk of money. With dollar cost averaging, you invest your money spread over multiple months. This reduces the impact of a possible market crash. On the flip side, you are missing out on some potential gains. If the market kept on rising, additionally, we will also have paid more broker transaction fees. So what broker should you use? The most popular broker in Europe is the Giro, as it has some of the lowest fees of all brokers. In Belgium, we also have Bolero, but unlike the Giro, they already changed the top price of VWCE from 0.12% to 1.32%. So if you have an account on Bolero, investing 88% in EWDA for the developed markets and 12% in EMIM for the emerging markets, this would be a cheaper solution for you as its performance is almost the same. Although now you need to go through the hassle of buying two ETFs instead of one. If you live in Austria, then it might be a good idea to open an account on Flatex. As the Austrian tax laws are more complex than most European countries, they will do the tax calculation for you. The German tax laws are also more complex than most countries, so in Germany, good brokers are Smart Broker, Scalable Capital and third, Trade Republic. So going for a local broker can make your life easier and can save you a lot of time. If you liked the video, please do not forget to hit the like button, please share it with your grandma, your friends and even your Uncle Bob. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm go out.